It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down for top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down for top 10 rides at Gardaland. Starting off at number 10 we have Flying Island and if you wish to see some excellent views from above without the thrills of a drop tower then you would love the park's observation tower. Standing at 50 meters tall, once boarded you will slowly rise to the top while also spinning around, allowing you to see some great views of the wonderful Lake Garda. Nevertheless, for all of us theme park enthusiasts out there, nothing beats getting those bird's eye shots of such classic coasters like Raptor and Oblivion. Get ready for an adventure like no other as coming in at number 9 we have Jungle Rapids. Now believe it or not this ride is for Parks Rapids and therefore on those hot Italian days this is a must do attraction. However if it is not hot and you wish to ride, trust me when I say bring a spare pair of clothes as despite it not seeming too wet, if you get a bad wave or be unlucky enough to head through the waterfall you will regret jumping aboard. One thing I have to give this ride though is the theming as with all of its temples, caves and erupting volcanoes you really feel immersed in this ancient civilization. From one water ride to the next we have Thunderlante at number 8 and let's just say that you will get a little bit more wet on this ride. Featuring a total of 2 drops at both 12 and 17 meters from the second that you climb aboard, you will know that you are in for a treat. It is not only those 2 drops though that makes it at number 8. In a matter of fact, those 2 drops are my worst part as like Jungle Rapids, the overall experience is mind blowing with all of its vast Atlantis theming bringing the already great water ride to the next level. Comment down below, do you agree? It is time for our first roller coaster on the list as coming in at number 7 we are going to become a Ninja Warrior on Kung Fu Panda Master. Now before we even start this is a family wild mouse and despite me often saying I would recommend for more unique attractions at the park, this is themed towards Kung Fu Panda, how cool is that? which means that for any fans out there like myself, you can head through the training grounds and finally head onto the car themed towards one of the many warriors for a spintastic adventure. The ride itself does not disappoint either, with its multiple wild mouse turns and drops all while spinning around like Kung Fu Panda himself. If spinning around non-stop on a wild mouse ride is not for you, but you would much rather get chased around by a huge mammoth, then our number 6 position Mammoth will offer any of the younger and older thrill seekers out there an adrenaline rush like no other. Located in the mountain tops, if you dare to set off on this speedy polar convoy, brace yourself for a total of 3 lift hills in addition to 16 sudden changes along this mammoth coaster. Did you see what I did there? Okay. That was pretty awful but this ride sure isn't and in my eyes with it also being really fun but also quite intense in addition to it obviously having some awesome theming this is the best ride at the park for the whole family. Top 5 work work and coming in for the number 5 position we have Blue Tornado. Now I know that the Coma SLCs don't have the best reputation so I wasn't really sure where to rank this ride, but compared to many of the other SLCs, I honestly don't find this one too bad at all, and therefore it is at number 5. For the reason that there are a lot of SLCs though, if you have done one or are planning to do one in the future, unlike Kung Fu Panda Master, I would suggest trying the more unique rides at the park first, as all 49 of these follow pretty much the same layout. If you do choose to ride though, to put it bluntly you will take off around a petrifying 109 foot lift hill, 5 inversions and a very sharp brake run at the end. So yeah, this is not for a faint of hearted. 
If you are scared of heights, skip to number three as for the number four position, we have Space Furry Go and the name does not lie. I think just by looking at this ride, you will work out how it works and whether you'll be running away or not. But in a nutshell, your gondola will rise for what feels like an eternity to the height of 49 meters. However, before you can say, wow, that's a crazy view, you will plummet back down to earth in a matter of seconds. The question is though, would you brave or run away from it? Here we enter the top 3 rides at the park and coming in for this spot we have Shaman. Now make a wish as this legendary roller coaster will adventure you through the mysterious dream catcher and if you wish to go on a 1985 classic for Cobra coaster which features both two loops and a double corkscrew then you are in luck as this is exactly what this ride is. A fun fact is that in 2017 VR glasses were also optional, however I think there has only ever been one ride that has pulled VR off and that is a video for another day. So I am very happy that these glasses are now removed. Whether you liked the VR or not though, everyone can agree that Shaman keeps the classic ride modern and still to this very day one of the best rides at the park. Between number 2 and 1 it was tough however taking the number 2 position we have Raptor. Now to be honest I don't know where to start with this ride as everything from the scenery to the ride to even the car you sit in is absolutely awesome. So to start off from the beginning once you make it to the top of a hill on this wing coaster you will not follow the typical twist over element but instead drop and head round and over bank already starting off this ride with a bang. This is also followed by a corkscrew, zero G roll and the famous inline twist all just missing the items blocking the way. Therefore no matter if you like thrill rides or not you would absolutely love Raptor and with its absolute smoothness despite it racing around at 60 miles per hour a trip to the park would not be complete without a ride. We have made it to the number one spot and for the best ride at Gardaland, it is no other than Oblivion, the black hole. Okay, before you ask, this is not Oblivion at Alton Towers and even though its logo is looking very similar and it is also a dive coaster, this one is miles better and here is why. Like all b &M dive coasters you will ascend to the top of the 140 lift hill and from here your minds will literally be blown as instead of just dropping and coming back into the station you will plummet down this high at 62 miles per hour then complete a humongous Imolin 270 degree helix heartline roll and an airtime hill really introducing a new level of thrills towards roller coasters. Without a shadow of a doubt, this is a must-do ride at the park, and in my mind, it will be a long time till something beats this iconic ride. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously, you all have your own opinions, and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also, if you have enjoyed the video, at the top, we have two videos that we know you would love. And at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said, there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.